day 15 and um, I'm uh, I had a lot of sleep last night um, but I'm just tired things that broke there's a block here leading the lines uh, to the wheel that control the monitor wind vane controls the wheel that way anyway metal sheared so that's one broken thing or another broken thing Review of the things that broke this trip. Okay, first thing was the spinnaker halyard. The shackle parted from the line, and uh, now we're gonna have to weave a whole new line, which means me going up the mast. Okay, next thing that broke the aft head pump. We just need to put in a new pump, but nobody wanted to deal with toilets at sea when we were so tired. So that has to be done. It was a real pain in the ass because uh, that head is right near the nav station, right near our where we sleep. So it's the one that's most convenient to use. But no, we couldn't use it yet. Walk in pitching seas all the way to the forward head. Alright, so that um I think the spinnaker isn't uh, damaged because when the halyard parted, it was dumped in the sea, but we're going to have to rinse it and check it, make sure it's all okay because we just stuffed it in a bag. Obviously, the uh, whisker pole broke and hit Jordan on the head. Uh, we already repaired that and it's back up and functional. What else broke? I'm, oh yes, the Y valve on the water maker, which Jordan actually already replaced. So that's working because you need a water maker. Um, the fresh water pump. We have a pressurized water system. Fresh water pump uh, uh, broke, which meant no showers. You know, only using the hand pump at the sink. So. Um, we fixed that, so now we don't have a spare pump. Um, let me see what else broke. I can't think of anything else currently. Oh, huh. the autopilot control head at the wheel, which um, is really important because um, on a short-handed crew, we use that a lot set a course, then I have my hands free to go do something to help Jordan. Um, so we luckily have a second control head down at the nav station, but oh my god, it's, you know, you have to run down, set it, or, or when we want to take manual control, somebody has to be at the wheel, somebody has to be downstairs, and if they turn it to standby, to manual, uh, not good. Uh, so that, uh, and then also the wind vane, a block, just I guess metal fatigue to shear through, and then the uh, control hub on the actual wheel froze up. So that's down. Okay, those are the big ones.
motor sailing till the wind fills in. Almost a little more. I'll be able to turn the motor off. Nobody likes to motor sail. miles to go unfortunately we would arrive there at midnight and uh, sometimes that's okay in a uh, familiar bay but uh, we're gonna have to uh, slow down a little uh, to make sure uh, we don't arrive until uh, light until the morning that's a bummer. That means another night, uh, instead of just one more night at sea, we have two more nights at sea. Sometimes when you sit out here and listen to the ocean, it's like you can hear something breathing. Like somebody exhaled. Maybe it's just a wave. Maybe it's just the motion of the boat. Or they're mermaids. Could be. Fell out of the roller coaster, crashed out, landed on cotton candy, and your arms have survived. I'm still obsessed. Rock bottom and below, I'm yours for the asking, where you go I go. I thought I was what I told, I thought I was. Okay, last night of sailing, we arrive tomorrow morning. Can't see anything yet, but it's like 50, 60 miles away. It's too far to see.
so happy to be here. in 24 days, 25, and everything's moving. I just wanted you to keep an eye out for the horse. Why would I want to watch a horse? Are you happy now? I'm you burgerized? I've got burgers and fries and potatoes. sandwich. <laughs> Chicken spaghetti! Seems to have carrots in it and some greenery. And it's yummy, right? It's delicious. <laughs> Live a little Flip the page Give us some more Getting out of my way